flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an entertainment move. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to get into your flight car reading and see what the fuck going on with you goddamn cancers. You know the vibes. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> see what kind of emotions y'all going through right now. But for the most part, if y'all don't know how this works, you can go to my motherfucker uh, video, Flight Car Reading Introduction, so you can know how I'm obtaining these energies. Now, for the most part, we're going to talk about your love matters, your business and career matters, and your home and family matters. Where these things actually derive from, as far as your business and career, and your love matters. And then we're going to come to a general statement or a general conclusion to see what's actually taking place and how to handle these things on a general level. So, for the most part, let's break this down. yee -hee. So, Cancers, what's going on with your guys' love matters? Now, y'all know I got to tap into you guys' energies right now. Y'all know y'all all about the moon. Y'all know y'all y'all know all about that fourth house shit. I got to do that over. Y'all know y'all all about that fourth house shit. Y'all know y'all all about that cardinal water. Y'all know y'all like to initiate and create new ways of dealing with the emotions and feelings. You might not know that, but that's one of the reasons why you in your moods. Because you're around a surrounding of a bunch of other people who don't match your vibrations. So, it fuck up your moods. Sometimes you might want to cry. Sometimes you might want to get angry. Sometimes you might want to fight. Sometimes you might just feel depleted and want to relax and feel comfortable somewhere. But for the most part, I feel ya. I feel ya. Key word. I feel. So when it comes to your goddamn love matters, cancers, what's actually going on right now? Why things is playing out the way they playing out? Whether if it's positive or negative. Because you know I need to connect. I love to connect because that's when we're dealing with the moon. And when we talk about home, family, domestic issues, private issues, we start to deal with, we start to deal with a person's insecurities, security levels and shit like that. So when we come to love and shit, what's going on with you goddamn cancers? Ee hee. Got a queen and motherfucking clubs. Now for the most part, the queen, the queen represents grand support coming. So you got grand support coming your way. But a club represents a learning, a square. Something you got to learn from, some form of friction. So, this grand support is coming in a way that you're going to have to learn from, and it's coming in a friction. Nine times out of ten, and this is in your love area. So, nine times out of ten, you got to look at it like this might look like something you don't want, but it is something you actually need. It's a support. It's a grand support coming. But it's coming in a way that you're going to have to learn from, and it's coming in a way of friction. It's coming in a friction kind of way. Something in a way of trying to pull you out of something or kick you from the nest or some type of way. So, this is the grand support coming. As far as love matters. So you got grand support coming. As far now, when I say love matters, it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. It could be a, a person, place, or thing that you are absorbing into your love mechanism. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, it'll still be filtered through those goddamn energies. But we need to know right now, why do you got the queen of clubs? You know what I'm saying? Why, or why, what, when, where, who is this grand support coming from? And why is it coming? And why is it coming in a way that's kind of negative, though? Like... Are you too fixated right now, Cancers? Are you stuck in the home right now, Cancers? Are you not putting yourself out there, Cancers, enough? What's going on? Why does grand support have to kick you out? Why do it have to push you to see it? Why you can't see it up front? Why you can't see this love up front? What's going on? Something about yourself. <laughs> Ace represents you, and the spades represents obstacle or cutting out or opposing so it's something you're cutting out from yourself it's something you opposing from yourself so for the most part you got this when it comes to love matters cancers you got this grand support coming and it, but it's coming in a friction way and the reason why it's coming in a friction way is because you can't see past yourself you're too opposing you're too negligent like you're, you're too disgruntled what you're disgruntled about you got this grand support coming but why is it in clubs? And it just told us it's in clubs. Something dealing with you. Ace is you, the sun. You is you, the solar plexus. You the first. You the neo. You see what I'm saying? Or the niet. Hee hee. But for the most part, it's you. If the problem is you, but it's in spades. And spade represents opposing or obstacle or cutting out. So what are you cutting yourself out from? What are you opposing that's making this grand support coming to you look like it's not support when it comes to love matters? Let's break this down. So let's see what kind of energy you're dealing with, a.k.a. what zodiac sign or what kind of zodiac elemental energy that your circumstance or situation is emerged in right now. What's going on, Cancer? Mm -hmm. Why you got such a guard up? Why you got them crap uh, guards up so tight when it comes to love? Who did you wrong, Cancer? Hee <laughs> hee. Who did you wrong? Who, who blinds you from seeing any other possibilities from coming in your life? And 
who made who destroyed you to the point that you got a guard so and you so opposing what you do cancer god damn you need love right now you need love right now i need love <laughs> So what's going on? What's the zodiac? What's the zodiac? The energy is going on. It's a king, a king of hearts. It's because you're given grand support. You've been given grand support. You've been given so much, and the heart represents a sextile or opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Or support. So you've been supporting, or you've been seeing an opportunity to give grand support to something, and this grand support to this person, place, or thing made you an individual and made you oppose. Because they may have been a burden or something like that. Whatever you was giving grand support to may have been a, a burden. So you have canceled yourself out. And to the point that now any other type of support that you have coming to you, you look at it like it's friction. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, see that's that back and forth, up and down, how the story goes. So let's go back from the beginning of the story and see how we ended up getting here. Now for the most part, we got here because you're in a circumstance, a situation where you got some grand support coming to you. But you don't see it that way. Because you're too, you're cutting yourself off, and you're giving your grand support. Now, the reason why you was cutting yourself off because whatever opportunity or support you was giving your grand support to showed you their individual cutting off, showed you their opposition of their individuality, and therefore any other support you got coming to you as a queen, you don't see it because you, uh, it's in this motherfucker square. So you look at it like it's friction. So you have to learn how to loosen up when it comes to love right now. So for the most part, yeah, um, you're put in this situation because you've been giving your grand support so much. But so what So what kind of zodiac energy is this in right now? So you have motherfucker the king, which is 13. Um, you have the ace, which is one. So that's 14. And you have the queen plus 12. So, uh, you know, 14 plus motherfucking 12 is 26. So for the most part, when you got uh, 26 and you break that down, that's eight. So you're either dealing, when it comes to love matters, uh, cancers, you're either dealing with a Scorpio or you're dealing with Scorpiotic energies. Now, I know a lot of people like to say sun, moon, or ascendant and things of that nature. I like to gear towards the sun sign, but I guess you having a moon or ascendant, it could gear towards this. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you're either dealing with a Scorpio or you're dealing with some type of Scorpionic energy in some way, shape, or form. Which, when it comes to your love matters, you're dealing with uh, lies, cheating, manipulation, alternative motives, shared values. People try to utilize you for what the hell they trying to do as far as they love matters. So they, they might just be trying to use you for money or use you for sex at the moment or utilize you for this, that, and a third. And this is the kind of energy that's been going on to put you into a circumstance, a situation where you feel like the, it can't be no other love coming to you. But you have love coming to you. You just have to open yourself up from it. And you have to learn how to deal with those past circumstances and situations that made you put up them crab guards and made you snap on anybody who kind of even reached that soft spot of wanting to come into your life as a grand support. But you got that way because you always see opportunities to, to give the grand support. You just have to make sure you giving your grand support to the right people. You don't be giving your grand support to the right people. And you've been giving it to the scorpionic energy or or specifically a Scorpio. So this is what you need to understand. Stop giving um, your love energy to, to secrecy or behind the closed doors. Be a little bit more open. Or stop dealing with this goddamn Scorpio that didn't fuck you over sometime in your life. Or it could have been a past scenario. You know what I'm saying? But that's how this can play out. So that's dealing with your goddamn love matters. So now let's get into your business and career. So, you know, your love matters is, is wrapped up in scorpionic energy. So you need to know that. And um, you, you got this guard up. But you got you got things coming to you. You just don't never see it. You don't never see it. You got to start opening yourself up to it. So now we're going to talk about cancers. What's up with y'all guys' business and careers? What's on your mind when we talk about the business and career right now? You know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all like to feel. Y'all don't even really care about business like that. It's more personal to you. But if you could mix the personal with business in some way, shape, or form, that makes everything all much better. Because you know you got a business running full of people you can actually trust. God damn it, you cancers. That's like heaven right there, right? Right? <laughs> A Capricorn don't give a damn. A Capricorn will uh, uh, slit your throat and cross you the fastest that they can use you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So they ain't really dealing with it. They don't really care. They use you as long as they can use you. And that's what cancers, y'all ain't like that. Y'all y'all don't even want to step in and say any business that's dealing with a whole bunch of people like that. Which that can be a default at times. I mean a fault at times. But still at the same time, you guys, y'all know the vibes. Y'all like to manifest real shit. Y'all like to manifest no frivolous shit in relationships and shit. Y'all like to manifest long lasting and comfortable relationships. So what's going on with you guys career and business matters in this motherfucker? Oh shit. So we got the little joker. So when it comes to business and career, 
uh, uh, extreme internal event is going to happen. So an internal me, an emotional or thought form that you're changing within yourself. So that's coming within a career. You got the small joker. So that's what's coming within yourself. Uh, uh, when it comes to business and career, uh, an emotional change, an emotional outlook that you change, like ain't no person, place or thing outside of you and going to come into your and help your business and career um, outlook right now. Right now, with the first card I pull is that's um, that would have been the big joker. The small joker is it's something that you have to change internally and that will manifest externally after a while. So when it comes to your business and career, you're going through right now an extreme internal change. In some way, shape, or form. Now, is this positive or negative? What kind of in deep internal is it? Is this gonna play out good or is it gonna play out bad? Let's, let's see. Let's go. Let's, let's see what's going down. Let's going down with, with y'all business and career cancers. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all know y'all like y'all like feeling com comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like manifesting, and y'all like dealing with the emotions and feelings. You know, y'all don't like these things getting too chaotic. And once they get too chaotic, something got to be done about that. So you know, when we talk about this big, this uh, this deep internal emotional change, what's actually going on? What's going on with this deep emotional change and things of that nature? Because I know y'all want to feel comfortable. So is this emotional change going to feel comfortable? You know, you know, talk to me. Talk to me. Boom. You got the five of spades. Now, what the five of spades is, this is dealing with your emotions and it's opposing. So, no. For the most part, this big emotional change that you're going through at the moment is dealing with your own emotions but in an opposing way. So you may be getting uh, some emotional energy directed towards you that's negative. Uh, other people's emotions may be opposing you at the moment. You may feel the vibes and you may feel the necessary need to get up and prove your emotions and feelings in some type of way. Because you may have, because here's the thing, um, there, was a, there was an extreme internal event that the emotional change you have had, right? Now, since this was the second card, five represents your emotions, 5D. Spades represents opposing or cutting out or, um, you know what I'm saying, or opposition in some type of way or obstacles so uh your emotions is an obstacle so right now you're either having to retract or or overcome an emotional standpoint that you have laid upon when you when this card was flung out aka you may have made an emotional stance among something and now you went through an internal change and now you don't feel emotionally about that no more so when i pull this card right here your emotions is changing in an opposing way so you either opposing a past an emotional feeling that you had about something or you got somebody in your life right now opposing uh opposing your emotionals and feelings about things and this is in the area of life of dealing with your career and business right now so keep that in mind you got a you got an emotional change and now your emotion the emotional change is what's going on is opposing so whether you're the opposing one, opposing an uh, outdated emotion that you have or opposing someone else's or someone opposing your emotional stance on something when it comes to your business and career. So even if you work in business and, and law and government and something like that, and then you agree with a, uh, a certain emotional feeling and then what came about was it now you oppose it and now you have to actually emotionally fix yourself up to be like, uh, yeah, I'm changing it. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you have to kind of kill your pride low key, you know, redirect your emotions and feelings in some way, shape or form when it comes to your business and career. Now, let me see. What kind of outcome is going to happen now and what kind of zodiac sign you're dealing with or what kind of zodiac element energy you're dealing with when it comes to the circumstance and situation in general so what's going on what's going on with you kansas why did you have why did you have to switch your emotional stance on something and why did you have to get emotionally comfortable with that in order to release that because you know you cancers ain't gonna normally release that y'all y'all know how to handle emotions and feelings better than anybody so uh oh falling out Falling out happened. So it came from a falling out. A falling out. Oh, shit. So, Kansas, who, who you fell out from and need reconciliation with? There was a So, for the most part, there, it was a falling out of cards. So, what that actually mean is when you got the, the small joker uh, in, in internal, there was an emotional event that happened inside you that changed your emotions and feelings. And now you have opposing emotions and feelings to those things now. And it was a falling out with the cards just now. So... Whatever you had, whatever you're changing your emotions and feelings on was a person, place or thing that you had a falling out with. And you you're changing your emotions and feelings about them. So whether you want some reconciliation or something, what's going on here? What's going on with cancer? What's going on with your business and career? And this is and this is dealing with your business and career. So what's going on here? Nine of hearts. So nine is dealing with your ascension. So this is dealing with your ascension right now. Nine deals with your ascension and hearts deals with sextiles and opportunities. So this is an opportunity for your ascension. So whatever emotional thing that you had stance on, you're now with your emotions, you're changing that.
because the small joker represents an extreme internal event. So you had an extreme change within you. Five represents your emotions. Spades represents opposition or cutting out. So you're either opposing that outdated ex extreme emotion that you had. You're either opposing it or it's opposed or someone, a person, place, or thing are opposing you in some way. Because you got a different feeling and emotion about that. This, this change inside of you made you have an opposing emotion and feeling about whatever you was clinging on to before. Right? And then there was a falling out with the cards when I was shuffling. So that's coming from. In your business, your business and career, that's coming from a, um, a falling out or something you may have detached yourself from. But by me pulling this, the nine, you emotionally getting over that is your ascension. You actually getting over that, dealing with your emotions, and and because the emotions is going to oppose the outdated ones. You change your emotions and feelings internally. So you don't feel the same way you felt about that person, place, or thing anymore within your career and business. And by doing that, by opposing those old outdated feelings and emotions that you once felt about them and changing it, now you have your ascension in your business and career. Your ascension can be possible. You see what I'm saying? And the hearts represents a sextile, which is an opportunity or support. So an opportunity or support will be possible. An opportunity will come in or a support system will come in for your ascension in some way, shape, or form in your business and career. So when we say ascension, that means prosperity or, or positive outcome within your business and career. So that's for your cancers. I like that. I like that. <laughs> so now let's get into your home and family where this actually derives from in the first place for you to even have... Um, for you to even have this energy signature. And, first, and then we got to do the zodiac elemental sign when it comes to uh, business and career. See what I'm saying? Because you was dealing with that Scorpio energy or Scorpio itself when we talk about love love matters. Now, when we talk about your business and career and the, the zodiac sign or the zodiac elemental energies that you have to get over for your ascension, what is that? Okay, so Jokers is just more space. It expands. Then we have nine. Then we have five. So uh, nine pl uh, nine plus 5 is 14, and when you break down 14, that's, um, in numerology, that's 5, because 1 plus 4 is 5. Now, 5 is the Leo energy, so you may be dealing with a, a Leo, Sun, Moon, or, it, this may be a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, um, or Venus, or, or, or Mars, um, or it may be the Leo energy in itself, um, when it comes to business and career. You're, you're, you're dealing with wanting to, you're, you're wanting to be seen more. You're wanting more attention now. You're willing to utilize your own creativity, your own uh, consistency, or your own stubbornness in order for that to be pushed out for you to be center stage at the moment. So you're, you're willing to show yourself. You're willing to be a little dramatic at the moment. You're willing to be a little bit more creative, a little bit more expressive, a little bit more explosive um, in your visions and your way of seeing things for the sake of your business and career. Or you may be dealing with a Leo uh, right now, uh, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, Venus, uh, Mars, that you may have um, fell out with, but you had a change of heart about it, and you having a change of heart about it is opposing those old, outdated, negative feelings and emotions about it, and by doing that, it's going to be your ascension, and that support is going to come in your life when you do that. So let's talk about home and family now. So what's going on, uh, motherfucking uh, cancers? Let's talk about home and family. Because that's where these things even got derived from, because home and family is what made you feel comfortable in the first place. Home and family is what made you feel comfortable to even do, for you to be in your love circumstances in a situation dealing with that Scorpio energy and for you to be dealing with this business and career right now dealing with this Leo energy. So home and family, what, what, what happened that no button that nobody else knows behind closed doors that that's allowing you to manifest you in these circumstances and situations dealing with your business and love career. I mean, your business and uh career and 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 love matters ace so within the home it's just you see what i'm saying when it comes to home and family right now cancers is really just you you're the diamond you're the gift you're the trine you're the possibility or you may be alone in some way shape or form so when it comes to uh home and family right now you're not really getting you're not getting affected by home and family like Per se, the previous signs I just explained. You're 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 on good basis, or there's no tension there at all. So right now you're just by yourself, basically. You're handling your own circumstances when it comes to your home, family, domestic issues, private issues, and when you gain emotional stability. So right now you're gaining your own emotional stability privately. You're not really talking to anybody close to you. You're not really talking to, to family members to help you with whatever you was emotionally into. 
at the moment to make you manifest that business and career matter. You see what I'm saying? Um, it's because you're it's because you're not connecting with anyone. Um, and you're in your you're to yourself within the home too much in some way, shape, or form. Now, when I say to yourself within the home, that doesn't necessarily mean a person being in a home. That means you're in your own emotion. You're you're not connecting. You're not emotionally connecting. You're too emotionally uh, detached at, to yourself at the moment. So this is what's going on with uh, home and family. And home and family is just the heart. So this is what's going on with you. Now let's see why you like that. Because you're the gift, you're the diamond. But, you know, if you're not trying to relate and connect that diamond anywhere, connect yourself, connect you anywhere else, no one else will see the diamond. It will stay in the home. It will stay behind closed doors. See what I'm saying? It will stay in a private sector. So, let's, 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 let's see what's going on with your home and family. Let's, let's see how you, you can get out of this, how you can get out of that. So your business and career could be that much better and your love life could be that, that much better. Got a king in space. You're going to have to give. <laughs> no, I know y'all might not like this. <laughs> See? I, now, this is crazy. Because, look, this is you. But you're too secluded in the home and family. And the reason you're too secluded, because you refuse to give. Now, the king represents giving grand support. The space represents opposing or cutting out or obstacle. So, for the most part, you're opposing giving grand support in some in some way, shape, or form. So this is fucking up your emotional state, your comfortability, your home life, because you're not willing to give grand support. You're not willing to give your gems and diamonds to anyone else. So you're too secluded within the home by yourself and you're only giving grand support and you're you opposing your ability to give grand support. So it stands secluded within yourself. So let's see the outcome. Let's see what zodiac sign you're dealing with or what zodiac ener energy uh, you're dealing with to create that circumstance and situation in the first place to make you feel like you only need to support yourself and you think you and and you don't even feel like you need to jump into the arena of even having other people's having other people uh support you in some way shape or form because you're not putting yourself out there in that way you're putting yourself out there into opposing to opposing negative matters and things of that nature so you know, home and family, family members might not even want to deal with you right now at the moment. Just because you you think you the shit and all the diamonds and shit, but you think the world owe you something, but you don't put that energy out. You think you but you think you're supposed to hold in it. You think you don't have to give support. You think you don't have to give support though. You see what I'm saying? But you but you run around thinking that everybody should give you support because you because you the diamond. Which you are a diamond. You got gifts. But you think everybody's supposed to give you support, but you think you're not supposed to give no support. And the king is space. You're supposed to give support. Now, why is this? Six of diamonds. Six. Um, now, you're supposed to give support because you the star. You, this is the attention, and it's the diamond right here. So for the most part, diamond represents trines, gifts, and, po and positive energy. And six represents your attention, the attention you give, your star quality. So for the most part, the diamond represents the gift. You're supposed to give your gift, give your star quality, give your attention to something else, another person, place, or thing. But you're refusing to do that. You think you're supposed to get all the grand support. And by you thinking you're supposed to get all the grand support, you end up just being a diamond in the dirt. But you have to understand, you are the diamond. And the moment you can give your grand support without being too opposing, canceling the spade without being too opposing, then it's when you can get the attention that you deserve and be the star within your family or whatever support system that you got for you. You see what I'm saying? So that's when it's coming to home and family right now. You got to give your support. You're not giving your You think everybody's supposed, supposed to support you because you're the diamond. And even though you're the star, a star is supposed to play a support a supporting role sometimes. See what I'm saying? Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? The world ain't, you're just going to be opposing. Now, let's bring this to a general conclusion. So for the most part, you thinking you're the diamond, but you thinking that you're not supposed to give no support to anything else. And you're just thinking you the star is what manifested your business matters, your business and career matters, which is dealing with that Leo energy. You see what I'm saying? Um, and you having to reconcile or you having to overcome an emotional stance that you have once felt differently about. Now you feel differently and more positive about it. 
And then that stems into your uh, love life also dealing with that uh, Scorpio energy. Secrets and manipulating and, and hiding things and things of that nature and not wanting things to be fully shown and things of that nature. So your business and career is blocking your love life and your home life um, and the way you carry yourself on a day to day basis is blocking your career and business life. So but your but your business and career is lightening up a little bit. I, I see that. I, I see that based upon that Leo energy. Leo always lighting things up. So we're going to bring this into a general conclusion and let's see uh, what you need to do or what you not need to do for the most part. And, um, yeah, coming with, coming to home and family, the Zodiac energies that you're, that you're dealing with, um, or the Zodiac sign that you're dealing with, right? You got 13. When it comes to home and family, you got 13, 14 plus six, that's 20. So 20 is the Taurus energy. So you're either dealing with a Taurus or you're dealing with Taurus-like energies when it comes to the home, uh, when, uh, when it comes to the home and family. Taurus-like energies is trying to uh, be practical, trying to make sense out of things, gain a foundation, gain some type of stability, get your feet fixated into something, into some form of foundation or some form of stability in some way, shape, or form. And that's what you're trying to do when it comes to uh, home and family right now. So maybe you're trying to get a new house or maybe you're trying to uh, re-innovate, add something to your house or something. So let's bring this into a general conclusion. Let's bring this to a general conclusion, this motherfucker. That wasn't no falling out right there. You got to learn the difference between a mistake and a falling out. That was just my motherfucking hand stumbling around this motherfucker. I, I ain't, that wasn't, no spirit came to me and said it was no fallout. So that wasn't no goddamn fallout. You understand me? <laughs> you ain't have no fallout within the home. <laughs> you got to fall out within your business and career, cancer. Or something dealing with business and career, or something you aspire to do. But in the home, in the in the home, nah. In the home is more dealing with Taurus energies. You trying to foundate yourself and fixate yourself on something so something could be long lasting. Something you don't have to worry about. Now, the general conclusion of how this all going to play out. Boom, you got the uh, six of hearts. This is all going to play out. Six represents your attention, star quality. It's all going to play out as you're going to become a star. And you're going to be receiving opportunities. Opportunities and support by you being a star if you play all these things right. So you're going to become a, a star. You're going you're gonna to get that foundation uh, within the home. And your career going to take off. Now, the, the love scenario, that's a different story. We're going to have to wait till a few days until we do another reading to see where you're at now. But as far as you lightening your load and changing your emotional perspective of a, of a, of a thing, place, or a person, um, with the Leo energy talking about the um, your uh, business and career, and then we'll talk about the home and family, changing that perspective and trying to gain foundation as far as being the, um, gaining stability in your life. Um, all that's going to get rectified as soon as you become the star and witness the support. And this opportunity that's gonna get rectified. Now, where's this? Uh, how are you gonna become a star and get this attention? And where's the support coming? It's coming from a two of clubs. Two represents someone else. So if ace represents you, two represents someone else. Duality opposing something outside of you. So this represents someone else. So this is how you're gonna become a star. You're gonna become a star by someone because of someone else. So someone going to, someone's going to recommend you or so, you're going to get attention. You're going to get attention and support because of someone else. So whether someone else is going to recommend you about something or something like that. Now it's a clubs. So clubs represents a learning situation, a learning circumstance or a uh, um yeah, learning process or friction. So this someone else is someone you may have friction with or it may be, or it may be someone that you gotta like. You gotta learn. Like, why would they do that? Like, you gotta learn from it. Like, damn, why would they do that? Or why would they not do that? And due to this someone else, this other person, this is how you get attention. This is how you are gonna get a star. Now, is this gonna be good attention or bad attention? What's the what's the general outcome? Because this is all dealing with your home and family, and it's gonna slide right into your business and careers and your love matters. And this is like the this is like the out the overall outcome of it. You're, you're going to get this attention, but it's going to come from someone else. So hopefully you, you're doing the business and career and the home and family the way, the way I was explaining it. Now, check this out. Who is this someone else? What zodiac sign or what zodiac elemental energy is this that you're going to become a star and get this attention from? So this is a three of diamonds. It's coming from your surroundings or something you're familiar with. Right. And it's a diamond. So a diamond represents um, uh, a gift 
or positive or trying. Something's coming, an, an alignment coming. So it's actually a, a motherfucking gift in your surroundings. So you got this gift in your surroundings that's going to come from someone else that's going to give you attention. It's going to get it's going to give you attention and make you be a star. See what I'm saying? So you're going to be a star from someone else who brings something in your surroundings, bring a gift, bring some type of prosperity in your surroundings or something like that. So what zodiac sign or what zodiac what zodiac go zodiac go energy is this? So you got 6 plus 3 that's 9. Plus two, that's eleven, and it went straight to eleven. So you, this is an uh, Aquarius, in, uh, Aquarius, or and a uh, or the Aquarius like energy, and the Aquarius like energy is what computers, information, technology, um, um, communicating as far as technology. So this may be texting, uh, conversating over the phone, uh, emails, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, Instagram, Facebook, you know shit like that. You know the Aquarius like energy. Uh, New information and uh, associating yourself with something, organizing yourself, or, or organizing things and uh, socializing yourself with a, a pack or a group or association that match whatever you're matching. You see what I'm saying? So this is going to be an Aquarius person or the Aquarius energy in itself. You see what I'm saying? That you're, uh, that, that, oh, that help rectify your business matters, your home, your home and family matters, uh, your career and also your love matters. Is, is dealing with the overall Aquarius energy. So be aware of and be and be paying attention to everything that's filtering through the Aquarius energy, which is uh, technology, phones, gadgets, cameras, um, you know, associations, organizing, uh, the location of these places, far out thinking, you know what I'm saying? Even to a certain degree, science, astrology, occult, mysticism, and technology. Uh, so be, be looking at these things. A person, place, or thing going to come through these filtering to help you rectify what we have just explained as far as your um, home and family matters. Um, matters business and career matters home and family matters is dealing with a Taurus uh energy business and career matters is, general, is dealing with Leo like energy and love matters is dealing with uh, Scorpio like energies so uh for the most part that's for you cancers and we're gonna move on right to my uh Leos hee <laughs> hee